Hello and welcome to PhotoTouch Plus. My name is Martin Perheniak. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the great new features of Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5. I'm going to talk about the new radial filter. Let me show you what we can achieve with this filter. I'm going to select this image and I'm going to the develop module by pressing D and then I'm going to press Shift M, which will select this new tool called the radial filter. Once you have it selected, you can decide how you would like to use it. Basically, this will create a circular selection in which you can make adjustments or you can also use it to make adjustments outside of your selection. This is controlled by the invert mask option and that's probably one of the most important options. So let's just have a look at this. Uh, what I would like to achieve on this image is to have a little bit more uh, focus on the uh, actual statue and I would like to darken up the edges of the whole image. Now this is something that we could do also with another adjustment we had in previous versions of Lightroom like the post crop vignetting but the disadvantage of this feature is that it will always affect only the corners and I can't really move it around I don't really have much control over it on the position especially of it so instead of using uh, the post crop vignetting I am going to click and drag over the statue itself now you can already see that we can move this circle around so we can really easily position it but what we need to set up here is that I would like to affect the outside of the image so I can choose invert mask I'm actually going to turn that off and in this case all the changes I do will be affecting the outside parts of the circle so not inside the circle but outside of it so if I reduce the exposure you can see we can darken up the surrounding easily we can also change the feather of this selection so you can see how it looks. If I reduce the feather and if I set it back up again, I'm going to reduce the feather a little bit. And I can always change the shape of this circle so I can extend it a bit, I can move it around. Probably somewhere here it will work well. Now we can go to the next example and I can show you uh, how else we can use this feature. Once again, I'm going to draw a circle turn off invert mask and then on this circle I'm going to increase the exposure once again this is outside of the circle everything is bright and I can always use the circle to show those parts where I don't need anything brightened like the outside area or if I invert the mask then only the areas inside the circle will be affected and then it looks like a spotlight which I can move around in these dark areas and I can decide which feature I would like to concentrate on like for example the door now we can see how it looks before and after by turning this feature off or on again you can see it actually did a really good job we can even change the temperature of the image on that part so just increase the warm colors of this door and we can even increase the sharpness clarity and saturation just really featuring that part of the image so let's see now before and after if I turn this off and on again you can see that actually it works much better now the whole composition we can also do another dark image and uh, using this feature I just click and drag over this part here and by the way if you hold down shift you can draw a perfect circle and if you hold down alt you can start drawing the circle from a corner point and not from the center point these are quite useful features which you can also use I'm going to keep uh, shift held down to create a perfect circle and then I am going to increase the exposure so inside that area you can see we have a brighter detail now and because I have the invert mask turned on all my changes will only affect the inside part of the circle of this radio filter and I can move it around once again just like a spotlight but I wanted to keep this part uh, bright so let's see before and after we actually added a spotlight in the image and uh, just focused on or emphasized the area which we are interested in and the great thing about this feature is that it's completely non-destructive so we can always go back later um, and make changes to it so for example if I go to the basic uh, options 
and I make a global change on the whole image and increase the exposure a little bit and maybe incre increase the vibrance and uh, the temperature like that then I want to go back and make more changes to my radio filter I can still do that and I can select that specific point which I, I used and on that one I can decide to increase also the brightness of the shadows and maybe also extra clarity on that part so once again let's see without this added element that it would look like this and with it it looks like that so that's a, a cool way of using the radio filter once again but what you can also do is to use several radio filters on the same image now in this case I would like to emphasize the two ducks in the image so first of all what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to darken up everything around the duck so I'm going to use a filter a radio filter and click here and draw over the duck something like that move it up a bit and maybe just change its size make it into an ellipse like that now I'm going to invert the mask and I'm going to darken the whole image something like that let me move it down a bit okay that looks good so I darken the image um, and now what I would like to do is I would like to add another circle here on the other duck and I would like to actually increase the exposure there because I didn't want to darken that part so I'm going to increase the exposure there and you can see that on this circle on the left I have the invert mask turned on while on this one on the right I have it turned off so this circle is affecting everything else apart from this duck on the right and this circle is affecting only the duck on the left and nothing else in the image so you can really start combining the uh, advantages of this feature and make the most of it so I can add maybe a bit more sharpness to the duck on the left and also maybe a bit of clarity and increase the shadows just to see a little bit more of it and we can also increase the saturation to just to pump up the colors on the duck by the way there's another useful keyboard shortcut if you have an image for example this one here where we have one radio filter and we want to uh, increase it or snap it to the edges of the frame and turn it into almost like a post crop vignetting then you can do that by holding down command or control on PC and double click on the center point that will snap to the edges of the image that's one useful feature and then there is another one if we want to copy a radio filter we can hold down command or control alt and click and drag on the center point I will create a duplicate so now we can have another uh, spotlight here on the stairs if we want to and this will have exactly the same values as the other radio filter because we just copied it and there's one more thing you should know about the radio filters I'm going to show that here on the duck so on this selection I feel like it's a little bit over the top so it's too oversaturated and uh, also too much sharpness on it so to be able to balance this out instead of moving all these values one by one I can click on the arrow here on the right which will toggle the whole uh, filter or this whole uh, tool panel and make it much smaller and here we have the effect amount now this can really balance out how it looks like so we can reduce it to 1 or increase it up to 100 so that can help us to really adjust how it looks like and we can again select another part for example this one here and we can again increase or decrease the amount of that effect so if you want to quickly adjust the changes you can just use the amount slider or if you want to do specific changes you can open it up and then you will have all the options listed and that's all I wanted to show you in this video I hope you like this uh, new feature in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5 and if you are interested about the other new features then make sure you check out the other videos here on Photo Touch Plus Thanks a lot for your attention.